Hey my lovelies, thank you so very much for joining me today here on Lumiere. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's pick a card reading is their feelings plus, crucially, their actions, what actions they are also going to take towards you and what actions they're going to take next in this connection. So I cannot wait to jump in. Let's take a look at the groups. I've got group number one, group number two, and group number three. So take as much time as you need. You're welcome to pause the video if you need more time to make your selection. You can trust yourself to be guided towards the group which is for you. While you make your selection, I will just let you know that Keen are offering a 10 minute reading with a five star psychic for just $1.99. So if you haven't taken advantage of that amazing deal, then go on over and check out Keen. All the details are linked in the description box below this video. Keen Psychics are really amazing. They can answer your burning questions, whatever your question is, then a Keen Psychic will have the answer for you. So do check that out. They are linked in the description box below. But also when you are ready and you've made your selection, all your timestamps are also in the description box. So hit your timestamp and I will see you in a moment. Hey everyone, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group num number one and this beautiful Amazonite heart and this card which says support. So it feels to me like your person really feels like a really solid presence in your life. Maybe they offer you a lot of support or it could be vice versa that they enjoy the support that you give them. The advice, you know, being able to talk to you, hear your thoughts, your perspective on their life, their life circumstances, their situations. So you're able to support each other in different ways. So there is that uh, beautiful, solid structure or foundation. It could also be that this person is part of your, excuse me, soul tribe, right? Uh, or soul family. So they're kind of part of that framework of people in your life. Let's draw some oracle cards and then find out how your person is feeling about you and what actions they're going to take. Yes, soul growth. So a beautiful eagle on this card, an eagle may be spirit animal or it may show up as a sign for you um, in this connection as well. I'm not sure it's going to come into focus for you, I hope it will. So this beautiful spiritual aspect to your connection where you are inspiring each other. I'm hearing through your conversation, through your ideas, right, to kind of grow, to take it to the next level and also to get this bird's eye view um, of your life and your mission here on earth in this incarnation. So that is very beautiful. A lot of expansive energy here with these kind of, you know, spreading your wings helping you to take off, helping you to kind of fly, being a high flyer in your life. Okay, so something about your person that is inspiring you in that direction, to see the bigger picture and to really spread your wings and embrace new opportunities and new experiences in your life. Yes, mastering the self. So this is really nice. This is like a yin yang energy here as well. So this is all about like achieving balance and harmony in your life, but also this reflects on your connection as well, like complementing each other with that yin and yang energy, right? The divine masculine, the divine feminine, and helping each other to harmonize, right? Harmonize within your own self and then being able to bring that harmony to this connection, okay? So, but it all starts from within. So definitely a strong uh, message that I'm getting here. Maybe they are helping you through a difficult time in your life or you've helped them through a difficult time or processing something from your past which has been challenging that support energy. But also a, uh, a strong energy here that this person is a spiritual teacher for you. If you are uh, prepared to see it through that lens, you will understand um, that they are here as a messenger, is what I'm hearing, bringing you a message, okay, about yourself, um, about your own expansion at this time. Okay, let's find out what's going on in the tarot. Wow, powerful energy is coming out. Aquarius energy really strongly. Uh, in your reading Virgo's energy as well that may resonate with you not necessarily so there is a lot of there's an energy of soul family here there's an energy of um, the 
really feeling like really emotionally fulfilled with you. I feel like you, you think along the same lines as what I'm hearing from Spirit. So you have really um, like the same ideas about things. Like you see life through the same lens. You like kin, right, to one another. Like you're very like-minded people. I think it's really nice. And again, this energy of healing, you know, having... Uh, brought support to one another during a difficult time or helping to alchemize past experiences helping to turn that lead into gold so there is that energy here there's also an energy of like being in limbo right of kind of waiting right waiting around waiting and hoping is what i'm hearing so it may be that you feel like you you're on the bench or that they are keeping you in limbo a little bit keeping you waiting for that emotional fulfillment and that happiness and it may be because it's not the right time it may be because they've got a health issue that they are dealing with or somebody in their family has you know perhaps they have to take somebody to hospital appointments or they're dealing with something within their health or their mental health right um, or it could just be that they are uh, healing from a difficult time it feels something to do with their family or linked to their family, that there's been some sort of struggle uh, recently or in their past that they are still recovering from. I'm hearing the word recovery really um, directly to me. So it feels like there may be a timing issue here. They do have feelings for you. They care about you very deeply, but there may be a timing issue where they're just like, um, they're keeping you like on the back burner or asking you to wait for them right or just more subtly keeping you in limbo but it's because under the surface they've got this energetic or emotional healing to do from some sort of experience uh, a past experience or something that they're going through but i feel like it's connected to their family again this message can be vice versa if you're just like but i'm ready for this connection but it isn't happening it's because there are some energies that you need to alchemize from your past okay something that you need to heal from either physically or to do, like I was saying, uh, to do with your soul tribe or your family, something which has um, needed to be recognized, needed to be uh, brought love to that situation to kind of alchemize and heal. So you may be ready like psychologically for this connection and really want it to happen, but spirit is kind of uh, putting a hold on it so that you can do this healing work or just let things uh, settle down within you in terms of your energies let's see what else we have more Virgo energy showing up in your reading Sagittarius or Leo may also resonate with you as well I feel like this person may be in and out of your life a little bit that could be to do with circumstances or it could be energetically how they're showing up for you or it could just be to do with kind of what's going on in their life right now is what I'm sensing. There's a strong energy of them being inconsistent and that causing some frustration for you, okay? So it's I'm hearing like access as well. So it's just like maybe you can't access them all the time or they can't access you all the time um, because maybe you live quite far apart from one another or because you've got quite full schedules or like a lot going on in your life right now. So there's this energy of kind of stolen moments together. So you see the best of each other perhaps when you're together, you have a good time, you share these beautiful ideas. It feels really intense, really beautiful, it really makes your day, it's really uplifting or when you get to talk to them. Um, but it feels like there are periods where then, then um, not in your life or you don't get to connect or you don't hear from them from a, for a while. Okay, although just a little bit inconsistent, you may feel like you are not necessarily their highest priority right now. It may be that they're showing up in a way that's a little bit superficial as well at this time, but let's see. All right, there's a strong energy here. I see Libra's energy, really strongly Taurus energy as well. That may resonate with you in your situation. I feel like your person perhaps isn't very good at expressing their emotions. They do have love for you. They see you as very elevated, um, particularly if you resonate with being the divine feminine in this yin-yang connection, uh, regardless of gender. Okay, so um, there's something here where they're not very good at kind of talking about their feelings. You may have a different love language. That may have uh, created like... 
uh, like a breakdown in communication for you. It may be that you're very different people as well. Although this is what I was sensing at the beginning. You are here to spark each other's growth. You do have this energy whereby uh, you think along the same lines, but it may be that when it comes to romance or when it comes just to this connection, you're kind of quite not on the same page or you don't show up in the same way. And that's the only thing that doesn't um, align for you, you know, like seemingly the most important thing. So like you come at this from different angles, you're very different people, is what I'm sensing. I feel like you really wear your heart on your sleeve. Your person is like a little bit more reserved or wants to protect themselves. It may also be the case that they are uh, not very good at expressing themselves uh, verbally when it comes to like what's going on in their head and their heart. Again, that energy of frustration or it may cause uh, friction or even drama in this connection as well. Let's see what else we've got. Yeah, a strong energy that this connection is on pause right now. You know, you may be in no contact. They may have asked for some time to think about things. It feels like maybe you're in no communication or they've asked for a break um, or you're on a break, something like this. That may have been like quite painful for you in your heart space, right? I'm feeling something around the heart chakra or the heart space right now. So that may resonate with you in your situation. Leo, Virgo energy showing up right now. So there's what I'm hearing is holding back as well. It may be your energy. It's like maybe you're waiting for them to come forward and you're waiting for, um, they're waiting for you to come forward, something like this. It may be that you are holding yourself back. It's like you want this person, you want to connect with them and yet you want to protect your heart space and so you're holding back a little bit. Or again, it may be you that's asked for some time. I feel like there's something in your energy field where you are assimilating old experiences, maybe because you're on the rebound, okay? Uh, maybe because you've got hurt in the past, maybe because you've had some family issues that you've been dealing with. And this is acting as some sort of barrier or block to them fully connecting with you, okay? That may resonate with you. It could be vice versa, but I'm really picking up that it's in your energy. You may not be aware of it, so it may be something that needs to be uh, brought to the surface for uh, to be consciously recognized and understood for you. Okay, so it feels like uh, there is like an emotional distance here. It could just be that you are like protecting yourself a little bit from this person because you're like, I'm not sure if you're all in. I'm not sure if you're a player. I'm not sure what your intentions are. Okay, so they recognize that you're protecting yourself. So, but there's something here which feels like it's stalling or that it's on pause. And I feel like you think it's to do with them and that they need to make a decision. But I do feel like there is also something in your energy field um, which is stopping like a flow of this situation. But we can explore it. Let's find out. There's an energy here where... They know that they haven't treated you fairly, okay? So maybe, like we were saying, they didn't make you a priority. Maybe they didn't put you first. Maybe they kind of messed around. Um, doesn't feel like a third-party situation. It could be, but there's just an energy whereby, like, they weren't fair by you. Like, they treated you in a way, or there's something in their behavior whereby they treated you in a way which was less than you deserved, okay? This may be in the past, it may be quite recently, okay, but they still have, they know that they've got like some growing up to do or some uh, maturing to do and they know that they could do better and their message to you is just like, look, I know that I can be more leveled up than this, I know that I can do better, um, I know that I need to learn to communicate in a way that is more uh, expressive or more uh, mature or that brings more clarity, but I'm willing to work on it. Okay, I'm not gonna get it overnight. I'm not gonna figure it out straight away, but I want you to know that I'm willing to work on this um, so that I don't hurt you, okay? So there's something here where I feel like maybe they thought you could be dismissed or you were throwaway or um, that they could treat you in, in a particular way. It may have been thoughtlessness rather than malicious as well as what I'm sensing here, like thoughtlessness or... Um, 
like just not considering you or not realizing how their behavior would affect you. And also I feel like they did this before, like their, their feelings had really developed or maybe it was just the case of they didn't realize how important you are to them uh, when they did this and they thought that it was okay to treat you like this. Um, and now that they've done this and there's been this breakdown or whatever it is, um, they realize that that isn't a way to treat you, but also it's, it's helped them to kind of wake up to the depth of their own feelings and how precious you are and how special you are to them. Let's see what else we have. Oh, they're really looking for an opportunity to connect with you. I see a message coming in if you've not spoken to this person. They could be asking you out on a date, something like this is what I'm sensing. So I feel like they've been silent for a while. I feel like one or both of you, to be honest, are trying to protect your heart space, trying to protect yourselves from a heart wound, from kind of getting hurt, something like this. If they have hurt you, this is something that they want to overcome and I see this in the future. So I see them reaching out to you, maybe to ask you out on a date, maybe to give you a gift, something like this. I'm hearing that they wanna make amends as well for any hurt that was um, uh, caused by them, right? From their actions or their behavior or, um, and they want to kind of, it's just like, can we start again? Can we see where this goes? Will you give me a chance? These are the sort of energies here. So somebody in this connection may be holding on to some resentment I'm hearing from spirit as well. Let's see what else we have. Four, four or four, four, four may be a sign for you in this connection, or it may show up as a sign for you over the next few days. Look out for that, that is spirit talking to you about this connection. I see Aries energy showing up really strongly in your reading. So I feel like there's a strong energy from your person of wanting to control things in order to stay in their comfort zone. And I feel like they get triggered very easily when they are asked to step out of their comfort zone, you know, maybe to talk about their feelings or to show up consistently or whatever it is, okay? I feel like when they do that, maybe they punish you or they uh, become cold or um, uh, they get a little bit distant, right? Something like this. So there's a strong energy from your person of kind of wanting things on their own terms or just trying to control things, but not, again, not from like um, a dark place, just from a place of wanting to feel safe there's an energy here about like knowing that they need to make some sort of move or take action and not and like stopping themselves from doing that like ignoring it and just thinking well it's easier it's easier if i don't do anything it's easier if i just leave things uh, it's easier if i just hide right something like this like that's their plan at the moment their plan is to kind of do nothing but let's see, or well, that's the energy that they've been in. They're just like, I know I should make a move. I know I should like, uh, you know, step into my power in this situation, particularly if they are the divine masculine. And yet they're like, and it's taking a lot of energy from them actually not to come towards you or not to um, do what it is that they need to do. Okay, it's taking up a lot of their energy. So this energy that they're in may be creating some stagnation for them, right? or some sort of block within them, which is causing them to feel like uh, a little bit anxious or depressed. But it's because there's an emotional block here and the, the energy can't flow. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, I love this energy, Virgo, Aquarius energy, Libra's energy as well. That may resonate with you in your situation. Lots of Virgo in your reading. So that could be uh, you or your person or represented in your in your birth charts. So there's a realization here that they uh, there's definitely a strong energy of them coming out of no contact or, you know, if they're not really kind of speaking authentically or speaking their truth, I see like a really um, good conversation between you both which is going to give this connection new life which is going to give it a fresh start okay um and then really saying look i want to 
uh, do this thing with you. I, I'm, you know, willing to put my heart on the line, even though I'm afraid. Um, I'm willing to kind of take the risk. You know, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but there's a strong energy here of just like, let's just take it a step at a time. Let's just see how it goes. There's an energy of like, I know I can do better and I want to work on this. Um, there's an energy where they like, don't have all the answers necessarily, but they're prepared to go on the journey and, and have the experiences and kind of see see what happens. So there's a strong energy of like a willingness for them to want to be with you, to have this adventure with you, right? And to kind of see how it goes. But I definitely see them, if you're waiting for them to communicate with you or to say something significant, um, uh, maybe even to say, look, I've been foolish or I've been an idiot in this situation. Um, I definitely see them being forthcoming with that. You can expect that in the next um, kind of lunar month is what I'm hearing. So I feel like they may have pulled back a little bit. They may have kind of gone into the cave, right, to kind of deal with their own emotions, not really letting you in on their process or what it is that they're thinking. But they are going to reach out. They're going to communicate with you and they're going to talk about what it is that's been on their mind. Um, right or what it is that they want to say to you authentically so that this can um it's going to free up a lot of energy for you to move forward in this situation all right those are all the messages that i have for you today thank you so much for being here with me i've loved being here with you remember if you want to get a personal reading and have your personal questions answered then you can get a 10 minute reading with a five star psychic over at keen for just $1.99 and once you are signed up with keen then you get a weekly special offers so you never have to pay the full price that you see on the website so do check out that amazing deal if you haven't already it is linked in the description box but I'm sending you lots of love I hope to see you soon hey everyone this is Claire welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number two in this beautiful card let me see if I can get it to focus for us a little bit I can't quite see because I don't have my glasses on and then uh, this beautiful quartz crystal cluster it's a uh, very sweet and lovely as well so Let's jump into your reading, find out how your person is feeling about you and what actions they're going to take towards you as well. Please know these are general readings, not a one-to-one -one reading, so just take what resonates. What resonates with you are the messages that Spirit wants to bring through to you today and you can leave the rest behind as always. So let's see what's going on for you. Repetition. So it feels like maybe you're kind of stuck in a cycle with this person. Orange butterflies may be a sign for you in this connection as well. So this could be like a little bit of history repeated. You may have a lot of history with this person or perhaps this pertains to uh, just a kind of cycle in your romantic life where you just feel like, oh, uh, not this old situation again or here I am in the same situation that I found myself in in the past. So there's something here where it feels like you've already experienced it or you're just sort of going around in circles with your person. So what I'm hearing is like break the cycle. So we'll have a look in this reading and see uh, how you can do that, how you can break the cycle in this situation. Honeymoon desires. I've never drawn this card before. This is so beautiful. So there is romance here between you and your person, that honeymoon feeling. You may be in that kind of honeymoon stage with your person right now or kind of hoping to experience that again or to that repetition, go back to that sweet time, uh, that time of kind of getting to know each other, of exploring each other, of uh, learning about each other and feeling really excited about things. So um, yeah, this really indicates spending quality time together, having that time to spend together where it's just the two of you that feels very uh, meaningful to you, which is really going to help to uh, mend your relationship or to strengthen your relationship as well. So yeah, and some passion as well, some romance and passion for you in this connection. Let's jump into your tarot and see what's going on for you in this situation. Pink flowers may be a sign for you or pink blossom as well. Look out for that, that spirit talking to you about this connection. Wow, it feels like there's like, <laughs> like a strong pull between you, like a strong desire between you, but it feels like no action is being taken. It's what I'm sensing. 
It could be that you're really long distance and you're so long distance that it's difficult to kind of make this happen. That's just a message for some of you, not for all of you, okay? I feel like there may be some kind of energetic distance between you if it's not a physical distance. Um, maybe they've ghosted you or you haven't heard from them or something like this, or just that, like they're not speaking up about their desires or what it is that they want or they haven't asked you out on a date, but it feels like there's a lot of chemistry between you both, right? That there's a lot of um, like maybe like a frisson, sexual tension uh, between you or like some kind of unspoken desire or attraction. So this could be some kind of really intense crush for some of you, not for all of you, okay? But I'm just picking up on this energy of like deep attraction between you, but um, no actions being taken uh, at the moment or even kind of maybe so far for some of you okay not making a move towards you not asking you out not um maybe contacting you something like this but let's see they definitely find you very attractive you tickle the boxes you do it for them so let's find out what's going on in this mysterious person's mind Yeah, your person is really holding back right now. I see uh, Gemini's energy here. That may resonate with you. Sagittarius energy as well. Possibly a Leo is what I'm sensing. So your person is worried. They've got an insecurity and they're worried that they're not good enough for you. So they, they see you as like um, a possibility. They see that there is attraction here, that there is like a meeting of minds. They kind of imagine being with you. They imagine being in a relationship with you. Okay, this could be as um, like taking it to the next level, wherever you are at, the kind of level up from that. So, you know, if you're dating, thinking about becoming exclusive, or if you're exclusive, thinking about making it official, um, or if you're just um, at the stage of flirtation, thinking about like what it would be like to date you. Okay, so... They're holding back. There's such a strong energy that your person is holding back and you're just like, I feel like you are in this energy of like, am I even imagining this? I thought this was a thing, now I don't know. Or just like, um, did I? am I just making all this up in my head? Your person sees you as relationship material. They see that you're a good match for one another. They're attracted to you. There's a lot that they love about you. They see themselves in you as well. You know, So you've got things in common and yet, Again, they're holding back, okay? And for some of them, it could be because they haven't seen the opportunity to be able to communicate with you. Um, but for others, it's because they feel like uh, they're kind of not good enough for you or they've got a, a fear of you knocking them back or rejecting them or that when they're around you, they feel attracted to you, but they feel like you are out of their league. Okay, is what I'm sensing. Let's see what else. I feel like they're really working on bettering themselves. So maybe building their finances so that they can be a match for you or working on their future. I feel like for some of them, they've wasted time. So they could have wasted time like in a dead end job. They could have wasted time in uh, following a, a, a path of study or a career path, which is now no longer for them or they realize won't bring them a lot of reward. And now they've got to start again, or it could be that they're in debt or something like this. Okay, there's something here where maybe they self-sabotaged a little bit or like their plans didn't work out when it came to their future and now they feel like they are on the back foot a little bit, you know, like a little bit uh, behind you in terms of progress in life is what I'm sensing. It could also be the case that your person is trying to distract themselves from thinking about you and thinking about the future and where this might go with their work. It could also be that this is a workplace romance and that's a message that I'm getting quite strongly that this is maybe a workplace romance or that you met um, uh, through your company or through your industry and it would make it difficult perhaps for you to date in that um, environment, okay? But it feels like they're working on their future and that this is important to them, that they that you see them in that light as someone to be taken seriously, as someone who is uh, working towards something, okay? 
could also be for some of them that they've got health goals. So this insecurity may be to do with um, the way that they look or their physical fitness or something like this and that this is something that they feel like they need to work on. Look, I need to be um, better, you know, more in shape or um, I need to look like this or I need to have this level of fitness because they think that you're a 10, right? They think that you're super attractive and they're just like, wow, I need to be a little bit better in myself in order to approach group number two or in order to be serious or to be taken seriously, okay? Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, such a strong energy here that they're very worried about what you think about them, right? This isn't something, they may not give this away I think that they do though, subtly, they do um, kind of look for outside validation, particularly from you, like it's important to them that you think well of them, okay, is what I'm seeing here. So, um, <clears throat> I feel like they want to come towards you, that they've got like, there's something here, I feel like they're going to be quite spontaneous with you. I think that this is gonna make you really happy. They're gonna to come towards you, maybe to ask you out on a date or kind of um, saying something to you which kind of means a lot to you um, and really clears up all that kind of muddiness and confusion. Okay, this is what I see. So I see them taking steps towards you. And what I'm hearing is meeting you where you're at. It's just like you're already here, you're already in the middle and you're waiting for them to kind of come to you and also meet you in the middle. So it's not like you're chasing them or anything like this. It's just like you're clear about what it is that you want. Uh, you're clear that you are happy to explore this and take this further and you're ready to meet them in the middle when they are ready to meet you. So I do see them kind of... Uh, doing that it really feels like you are achieving a lot in your life as well and they really see um everything that it that you have accomplished or that you are working towards in your life it may be that you work whatever it is that you're doing in your life whether it's a work or a hobby it just brings you a lot of satisfaction and they really love that about you they see that it lights you up they see that it elevates you they sees that um other people are interested in what it is that you're doing or um, how you express yourself, okay, that makes you very attractive to them, very magnetic. So I see them wanting to come towards you, I think they're going to be quite spontaneous about it, you know, not think it through too much, um, and it's going to bring a lot of happiness for both of you, okay? Let's see. I see Pisces energy, Taurus energy showing up in your reading really strongly. That may resonate with you. There is a big storm happening outside, so I think you're going to be able to hear the rain on the audio. So I'm really sorry. I might have to stop if it gets too crazy, but we will see. So there's an energy from your person whereby they're self-sabotaging a little bit. It's just like they come towards you and then they're kind of stopping themselves, right? a little bit, or they take steps towards you and then they self-sabotage, or they talk themselves out of it, okay, and it's their fears. What they want you to know is that their fears are stopping them from coming towards you, and they're trying their best. There's such a strong energy from your person of taking things a step at a time, to come towards you, or to get closer to you, or to reunite with you, or however it resonates in your situation, okay, but there's something in your person's energy where they're like their own worst enemy, in a way, this is an old wound that I'm seeing in your reading. This trigger that they have um, goes back a long, long way. And it's uh, there's something in their energy which is undermining them, a wound in their energy which is undermining their success and happiness when it comes to their romantic life and is stopping them from moving forward. Okay, let's see what else we have. Two, two or two, two, two may be a sign for you as well in this connection. Look out for that. I really feel like your person is in the emotion ocean when it comes to this connection with you. 
I really feel like they're serious about you. I feel like a lot of this insecurity that has come to the surface to be processed for them, or their fears, or this issue that we are looking at here, is because they recognize that there is the potential for something very long term or something um, very meaningful with you or something serious. I feel like it's something that they daydream about or you know it may have even been talked about or considered if um, you've got history with this person who you're asking about today. So I feel like they've been on the fence a little bit, no a lot. When I say a little bit, I mean a lot, um, about what to do about you and this connection and moving forward and this whole time they've just been on the fence they know that they could have a relationship with you they know that it would be really beautiful but they feel like they're in the emotion ocean they're just like uh but this but that so on the one hand they're thinking yeah this would be lovely but on the other hand i might get hurt or what about these circumstances or what about that and it's like this flip-flop all the time between those things and it's so exhausting i think because and now they've just been sitting on the fence all the time and that has led to like an inertia or not or them not doing anything or making any decision but ultimately i see things playing out for you i see them making this decision about this connection okay and being able to make up their mind about what it is that they want. I'm going to grab this deck for, no, this one, for clarification. Gemini energy, Libra energy, showing up in your reading. But a lot of this overthinking, overanalyzing, indecision is really, like, because they have recognized that there is you know, something quite serious between you or the potential for that. And that makes it weighty. Do you see what I mean? It makes it um, an important decision for them, right? If they were indifferent, if they didn't care, there wouldn't be all of this inner conflict for them. So it's because it's very important to them that they... Um, are tying themselves in these knots. Let's see. We've got the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck as well. So I, I feel like they're overcoming their resistance because they don't want to lose you. I think somebody else has that eye on you. Maybe you're dating somebody else or other people or they've seen you out with somebody else or that they know that there's somebody in your group or work or social circle who has that eye on you. They've heard about this. Okay, whatever it is. This could show up in lots of different ways, but it looks like or they're just sensing that they know that you are valuable that you are a catch that you bring a lot to the table that this is a beautiful opportunity so i see them here like overcoming their resistance overcoming their fear of the rejection right of any possible rejection uh, abandonment failure when it comes to this but the trigger for them to do that is really that they're afraid that they're going to lose out uh to somebody else right? That you will get uh, swept off your feet by somebody else who isn't them. So they're just like, that is going to be the catalyst for them. Okay. And it's nothing that you do. You don't need to, um, there's no manipulation from your energy or anything like this. Um, I think it's going to be something that's very natural, that's very organic, which kind of comes to the surface of their consciousness very organically. But that is going to be the, the change, the catalyst, the change for you guys, which is going to help them to overcome this resistance of making this decision, is this fear that they're going to lose you. Maybe they feel like you're moving on. Maybe they see you talking to somebody else. This is going to be what kind of motivates them to take action when they have been stalling for such a long time or so indecisive about what it is that they want. All right, those are all the messages that I have for you. I've loved being here with you today. Um, let me know how it resonates in the comments. Remember, if you want to get your personal questions answered, then you can have a private reading with a five-star psychic. 
Uh, over at Keen, it is 10 minutes for just $1.99. It is linked in the description box below. The brilliant thing about Keen is that once you're signed up with them, then they send you regular special offers once a week, so you never have to pay the full price that you see on the website. So do check out that amazing deal uh, to get time scales and things that I am unable to give you in a general reading like this. But thank you for being here with me and putting up with the sound of the rain. It's pretty crazy out there, but I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Hey there, my lovelies. This is Claire. This is your reading for everyone who picked group number three and the beautiful little uh, moon here. I'm not sure if it's quite in focus for you, but it is so so sweet and gorgeous. And then this lovely card as well. And now this actually says manifest. So it could be that your person is manifesting you or you are manifesting your person. If that is what you are doing, then you are gonna be successful. You are gonna come into alignment with this person. Okay, you are manifesting union and happiness with this person. So yeah, whatever you've been doing, keep doing it because it's gonna be working for you. So that is your little message from spirit. I feel like you and this person have quite a unique connection. It feels like there's a lot of magic in this connection that you've got like, quite a lot of like psychic exchange between you, like telepathic messages, finishing each other's sentences, that kind of feeling of knowing one another, you know, feeling really um, familiar to one another. So I am excited about it. It feels very high vibrational. Um, it feels like kind of giggly and flirtation and like there is like some fun that you are experiencing or some fun to be had with this person. I feel like maybe you have an energy of being an empath or an intuitive, something like this, a star seed, or you're connecting at that level of both being quite spiritual maybe, or you're awakening them to uh, their own spiritual journey. Let's see what we've got here. Yes, I love this. I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness, right. Purified soul. I cannot handle the energies that I'm getting from this group, by the way. So uh, we'll see. Purified soul. White feathers may show up as a sign for you in this connection. So I feel like there's someone here who has got like a very angelic presence, a healing presence in this connection, okay? Maybe you bring a lot of light to humanity, to the planet, to your person, okay? There's like this energy of a gentle touch is what I'm hearing. So um, maybe you or your person have a gentleness about you, which is very unusual in today's society, which is very fast paced and harsh, okay? Maybe you value gentleness, gentle words, kindness, compassion, things like this. So there's an energy that someone here is a very uh, unique soul, you know, who is um, very much their own person, who goes against the grain of society, what we are conditioned to be and to do, okay? Somebody who is maybe very creative, um, music, poetry, you know, likes the... Uh, like the beauty in life or appreciates nature over the material. And then we have in our wildest dreams. So, you know, this is like a love with abandon, right? This is just like, I'm all in, right? My heart is all in, I'm giving my heart to you, right? I'm, you know, there's no baggage, we're just like in the moment. Um, so there is an energy about that in this connection, which I really love that is, yeah, it says going against the grain. Didn't we just talk about that as uh, like a characteristic as well, like going against the grain of society and conditioning. So maybe that you're quite a unique couple. I feel like you resonate on a very unique frequency with one another. Okay, they feel like you're one in a million, that you're very special. They may have never met anybody like you who um, sees the world in the way that you do, okay? Um, and they love that. There's a spark here between you of kindred spirits is what I'm hearing from spirit. So kindred souls, kindred spirits. So that is very beautiful. Let's jump into your tarot, find out how your person is feeling about you and what actions they're going to take. You are going to be able to hear the wind and the rain uh, on this video. Uh, I'm sorry about that if it's uh, difficult for you, but there is a storm going on and it's been going on for about four days now. So uh, there's not much I can do about it, but let's see what's going on for you guys. 
powerful, potent energies between you. Libra's energy, Scorpio energy, Virgo energy. That may resonate with you in your situation. I feel like um, they're putting off making a commitment to you or they've been unable to make a commitment to you or a decision around this connection. But there is soulmate energy here. I feel like there is a deep bond, a deep connection, a soul connection between you and this person, okay? That you were destined to meet each other, to have these experiences, okay? to awaken one another, to awaken your heart, to like free yourself from the shackles of conditioning, to kind of raise yourself up higher. And again, this energy of just like, I think it was like karma that you've met one another. Again, this energy, I knew that the hangman was gonna come out of this Pisces energy really strongly as well, that this is, um, a very unique friendship, a very unique relationship, a very unique connection um, that either you or your person see life in a way that is um, different to other people. Very authentic. I feel like you're both very authentic and you may express that through your creativity, through your art, through the way that you dress, through tattoos, your hair, um, your opinions, what it is that you read. Okay, I feel like you've got like a thirst for knowledge or your person does. Talk about podcasts and books, maybe, or different ideas, like that are a little bit outside the box. That's what I'm sensing. I feel like you've been married in a past life as well. That may resonate with you. And I feel like that past life connection was quite serious. It may have ended in some sort of tragedy or something like this. And now you've come to be together in a way that is um, more wholehearted, more in alignment, like in a little bit freer, that energy of like being a free spirit. Um, that's a little bit more high vibrational, a bit easier as well. It may be that you've been brought into their life to give them a new perspective on things or vice versa. Let's see. Yeah, there is some like energy of something which is unhealed here, Sagittarius energy showing up. I feel like this love is really, um, it feels very young and fresh. It's just like, it could be because you're very young or, uh, or younger, it just feels, light-hearted, it feels fresh, it just feels fun, like there's a lot of flirtation, a lot of playfulness, joking with one another, okay, if this is your reading, right? Um, I feel like this whole situation has really taken someone by surprise, they weren't expecting uh, to feel this way, they weren't necessarily looking for anything like this, I just feel like you really gel with one another, this could be an overseas connection as well, or a long distance connection, or you could be from different backgrounds, different cultures, right? In some respect, which is why you're giving each other these amazing insights into things. I'm hearing that you may speak different languages to one another as your primary language, not necessarily, okay? So I feel like there's something here which is out of balance, which needs to, uh, which may have been rushed as well. So there's an energy here of like, I don't know, because it's so there's so much passion and such a lot of intensity, it could be that there was something that was rushed and it's because you knew that you weren't gonna be able to be in alignment for very long, that you were gonna to have to take your own path and they were gonna to have to take their own path. Um, or it could just be that you're kind of swept up in emotions as well. I also see something here which is like out of balance or um, needs healing, but we can explore that as well. Um, there's an energy of impatience here as well to have commitment, to have it all. Um, but it's like, it's really, spirit is really saying, look, it's about the journey, not the destination. So if you're just like, I want you to commit to me or I want to know where I stand and that's completely natural. There's no judgment there, but there is this beautiful journey to go on. So you don't want to miss all of those experiences because of being focused on the destination. So um if you're in an energy of like wanting certainty, wanting uh, to rush, wanting to rush through this, um, impatient for an answer, there is an element of divine timing here um, in order to bring you into alignment. But this is someone that you've met 
where there is maybe a crush, a little frisson between you, but it has got a lot of long-term potential. I feel like you've been in, in each other's lives in many different lifetimes as well. So it's like a reunion rather than meeting somebody else or somebody new, excuse me, let's see. There's something interesting here. Five five or five 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 may be a sign for you in con in this connection, or it may show up as a sign for you, right? Over the next few days, that is spirit talking to you about this connection. I feel like there may be a difficulty here for you connecting. It feels like there's a third party energy. This could be. Um, an issue, a responsibility, a family member, or it could be another person, okay? I feel like for some of you, this is a forbidden love, like you just know that this is your person, but they're already with a karmic partner or in an unhappy or unfulfilling, I'm hearing, relationship, or that could be you, right? So that's not a message for everybody. It's just what I'm seeing here, okay? So it feels like... Um, you spend quality time together, you really get one another, like you understand one another. This may have gone like further than you, it meant to, maybe you were just meant to be colleagues or you were just meant to be friends, but you feel each other at the deepest level. Okay, again, a message just for some of you. It could also be that they're just like, feel like they've got to fight off other suitors. That's a message. Uh, that's coming through as well you know maybe you're in the dating pool you're dating other people and they've got to fight for your attention for a place in your life uh, for your love okay they know that you are the catch you know that you've got they know that you've got a lot going on in your life and going um that you've got a lot going for you as well let's see you can just take it how it resonates Libra's energy, Aquarius energy showing up in your reading that may resonate with you. Very powerful. It's what I'm sensing. There's something here about them. You've brought them into alignment with their true path. You've brought them into alignment with their authentic truth. Is what I'm seeing. You're just like, it's like you've brought truth to their life or uh, a revelation. Okay, and they, it may have been something that they have been resisting for a long time. Okay, I feel like this is a lesson or a message that has come through you, whether you meant it to or not. Something that you've mirrored to them, something that they've understood from talking to you, from meeting you, from uh, experiencing your energy that has been unlocked within your person, that has brought them back into alignment with their true self. And it's something that the universe has been... Um, trying to help them to understand, but they've been resisting it because it's been uncomfortable. Okay, that's a message for some of you. They feel like you are someone that you are uh, bound together at the soul level. I feel like they're fighting this connection though. It may be that they need to fight for you, right? If they want um, you to commit to them. Or it may be that they're kind of fighting their feelings. I feel like there may be another commitment in the way. A commitment to family, a commitment to their kids, a commitment to a karmic partner. They know that this is true though. This, the feelings that they have for you, it's like, what I'm hearing is this is right. So when they're with you, they know that it is right. They know that you are the one, okay? And yet they may be fighting their feelings for you or they may need to fight for this connection in order uh, to make it work, okay? Again, another message that I'm getting is there could be red tape around this which is blocking you from being together such as a divorce or a visa, okay? Either on... Oh, I've got one. No, I can't see it, so we'll just leave it. Um either on your part or on their part, okay? Let's see.
Yeah, this is something that they weren't expecting to have these feelings. There's an awkwardness here about it. They're re they desire you so strongly, okay? You are who they want, okay? They're magnetically drawn to you, that manifestation energy that we were talking about at the beginning, Leo's energy showing up here in your reading, right? Um, so they find you compelling. There's this energy whereby they can't get enough of you, of talking to you, of being around you, of being in your energy. And yet there's something here where those feelings that they have, that sexual chemistry, um, those kind of budding romantic feelings, are a burden to them. There is something, it's like they have to earn something. They have to earn a place in your life. Maybe they have to earn... Um, union with you, you know, by having to kind of jump through hoops or get this visa or kind of um, take these steps, okay, there's, so there's something about this which weighs heavily on them or weighs heavily on their heart, but it, it does feel right to them to be with you, okay, but there's something here which is a burden or a struggle when it comes to their feelings that's weighing on their heart, let's see. Yeah, there's something that they need, a commitment that they need to leave behind in order to be with you. I feel like they're going to be like <sighs> making plans for the future about like creating a future I feel with you. I feel like as a result of meeting you what they thought was going to happen in their life is now different. Okay, and what I'm hearing is there is an adjustment period there. I feel like there's a journey here. This could be like a journey of practicalities, right, in order to get into alignment with one another. It could be a journey, a physical journey of like them having to travel to see you, or you having to travel to see them in order to kind of be in alignment, to kind of be in the same place in the world. Um, but also this strong message that they're having to leave behind an old idea about what it, they thought they wanted to pursue. Um, or it could be an old commitment or an old lifestyle, right? Something that they've outgrown, which is no longer resonating with them, which is no longer serving them. They're having to move on from that. And there is a period of transition um, as a result of that, okay? Is what I'm sensing as well. I'm just going to grab this deck for clarification. Yeah, I feel like they're learning a lot as a result of this connection and this um, Taurus energy is showing up in your reading as well. So I feel like Again, this is energy that you are spiritual teachers to one another, that you're helping to elevate one another. I feel like they're going to make a commitment to you. They definitely want you. This it like this whole connection between you just rings true. You're in like perfect uh, frequency with one another. Okay, so I see them wanting to make a commitment with you, wanting to make this work with you. Okay, and you learning from one another and like getting into this energy of like being solutions focused, finding solutions to the practicalities, which are maybe uh, stopping you from, from being together or from pursuing this in a way that is um, more serious or more long-term, okay? So I feel like there's a period of transition, but ultimately I feel like they definitely want to, they wanna to commit to you, they wanna take this to the next level, a higher level of commitment with you, okay? Um, you're like a teacher or a guide to them. You've been helping them to kind of learn a lot, maybe through introducing them to different books, uh, different documentaries, different podcasts, something like this. This is really expanding their consciousness, helping them to elevate as well. So I feel like whatever the practicalities are, they're prepared to find solutions, cut through the red tape, fill out the forms, do whatever it takes in order to be able to commit to this connection with you. So 
Those are all the messages that I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here with me. I've loved being here with you. Uh, remember, if you want to get a personal reading to have your uh, personal questions answered, then you can get 10 minutes with a five-star psychic of your choice for just $1.99 over on the Keen app. So all the details of that deal with Keen are linked in the description box below this video if you haven't checked them out already. They're super friendly and once you are signed up with Keen, they send you regular emails with special offers. You never have to pay the full price that you see on the website. But yes, I'm sending you lots of love and I hope to see you soon. Take care.